stood up on the podium promoting a, a boxing event. So you guys have to excuse me if I can show a little ring rust. But I am truly excited to be here. And I want to thank you all, the media, to be here for this amazing event. These are two, uh, two top-notch matchups, uh, two guys, four guys, which are on top in their respective divisions. So I'm really excited to be in my first event having such a tremendous uh, Showtime World Championship Boxing matchup. Um, when I was promoting Mayweather and Maidana back in, in the day, in May, actually, uh, it's funny how things happen, uh, Sebastian Contursi was there as well because he was working with uh, Marcos Maidana and Quellar was there as well. Um, he was fighting Bama Lopez and knocked him out. So it's sort of like funny, the first time back, I have two, you were there too. That's right, you were there too. I was there in audience. So uh, it's really funny how things happen. Here we are, and we're sort of like, I'm starting where I left off, and that feels, that feels really good. I want to thank uh, my family, my, my friends as well. The last uh, two, two and a half years have not always been easy. Um, but I'm happy to be back and hopefully I'll be able to add something to the sport of boxing. I want to thank as well this first class facility here, uh, owned by OUE, uh, Lucy the CEO and Peter Johnston, uh, to make the space available. It's today one of the major tourist attractions here in Los Angeles. And sort of like going full circle, that particular floor right here um, was actually the floor which I had my office back in the days when I was in the banking business with Swiss Bank Corp and then later UBS. That was my office space here. And then they uh, took the space out and they made it a observation deck and tourist attraction. So it's really funny how things happen. I want to thank uh, my good friend Joaquin Spichal as well from the Tina Group for the catering. Uh, it's the premier restaurant, it's the premier facility, and that's how we roll. That's how I always roll, and that's how I roll at Ringstar as well. Everything is first class. Uh, they want to be to do a press conference from the Radisson Hotel. Nothing against the Radisson Hotel, but I don't do the Radisson Hotel. I do first class. That is what the sport of boxing needs, and that's what I've always done. Boxing is entertainment, and we are in the entertainment capital of the world. Uh, and if you could pay four guys to entertain, who know how to entertain, then it would be these four. Charlo and J. Rock Williams for the IBF super, uh, super welterweight world title. Uh, it's going to be a tremendous matchup. Styles make fights. Uh, J. Rock has been waiting for this opportunity. And uh, Charlo is going to want to defend his title. Uh, this is one of the most talked about fights. Some people wonder if it ever is going to happen. Well, it's happening. It's happening right here in Los Angeles at the Galen Center. And then, of course, the fight here with, uh, for, for, for the title with Guerrero uh, uh, and Mars is going to be all total pro action. I'll talk about that a little bit later. But we as fight fans are going to be really spoiled on December 10th here in Los Angeles. I was reading the LA Times last week, and I really want to give the LA Times and Lance Bloodmeyer a big props. Every week, I'm sure fight fans who know this, they have a whole page about boxing. And I am certainly going to do whatever I can to help the LA Times and help other publications as well if they show that kind of commitment to the sport by buying ads. You will see on Friday I'll have an ad about this fight in the LA Times. So we need to stick together and empower, and empower the sport. But the reason why I took that last week's paper with me is Lance writes about the top five matches remaining in the calendar year, basically for the first quarter for the fourth quarter of this year. What are the five best matches worldwide? And two of them are these two fights here. And both of them are happening at the same night. Two of the best matchups in the sport, right here in Los Angeles, the same night. The same night. Ticket price is starting at $35, and special student discounts for $25. I mean, no pay-per-view. Many of them, some of the, most of the other fights in this actually are all pay-per-view events. So this is like a free-for-view, you know. I mean, this is the best fighting, the best. Los Angeles, you've 
got to be there, you've got to see that. Um, now, uh, I want to introduce to you uh, Brittany Goosen, and this is a co-promotion with TPG Promotions. It's a pleasure for me to work with them. And Brittany, if I may ask you to come up to the podium, please, and say a few words. on what is sure to be a great night of boxing. Together with my dad's matchmaking expertise and Richard's professional talents, this has the makings of an outstanding collaboration. We are especially looking forward to working with the great staff of the Galen Center for the second time. We were there back in May of 2014, promoting the heavyweight world championship bout between Chris Ariola and Romain Stavron. That was a sold out night, and I have a feeling this one will be too. Los Angeles has the best fight fans, and I know they will be out in full support for these great fighters on December 10th. Tickets do go on sale tomorrow, Friday the 28th, and we will see you at the Payland Center. Bye, on. Thank you, Astrid. I want to thank as well uh, somebody who really is a very special person, and surprisingly is not here, um, but somebody who really, in that period, when I was out of the sport, checked on me almost daily uh, to see how I was doing, and that is my good friend Al Haven. I want to thank Al uh, just for the human being he is. And a fight wouldn't be a fight uh, without the Watsons. And when I heard that they were coming and they're back there, uh, I really uh, made, me very, made me very happy. And uh, that was one of the things watching TV. Uh, watching Watson, one of the things I've been missing is the Watsons in the corner. And I can tell you with me, the Watsons will be in the corner. So, uh, terrific guys, terrific family, and uh, happy to have them here. Now the Galen Center. The Galen Center and the USC campus holds a very special place for me because one of the things I've done when I was out of the sport was um, I have three boys. All the strong ones, Al and you, Richard, and then I have Nikki and Alex, uh, and those two uh, joined USC. They were fortunate to get into USC, so I have two Trojans in the family. And so for me to come back, uh, promote these great matchups, uh, this great matchup, and then on top of that, doing it from the Galen Center, from the USC campus, is especially important to me and meaningful. It's a pleasure now for me to introduce to you the Assistant Athletic Director at USC and the General Manager of the Galen Center, Carl Reed. Thank you so much for joining us. And I want to apologize as well that uh, Charlo and Cheo are not here. Uh, they're in training camp uh, uh, on the East Coast in, um, in Texas. So, but they will make themselves available next week. My PR team will organize a national conference call where we will talk about that fight and what a great matchup it is. If you look at the card together, those two fights, those four fighters combined record, I think says it all. 103 wins, three losses. 103 wins and three losses. And these are championship fights, and these are champions. Uh, this is as good as it gets. Um, those four guys are as good as well because all four of them have some of the best trainers in the sport in their corner. Uh, the matchup here with uh, Freddie Roach, uh, with Quellar, and then uh, of course uh, Robert Garcia with Anthony Myers. And it's a pleasure for me now. Uh, oh, we were there at the last press conference, my mom and I wanted to call you up to the podium again and do say a few words. It's a pleasure for me to work with you again, Robert, and we always have a great relationship, and I'll continue to do that. Primero que nada, quiero dar las gracias a todos por estar aquí, por asistir a la conferencia. Cuella y su equipo por darnos la oportunidad. Sé que es un peleador muy dedicado, le echa muchas ganas, mucho corazón a sus peleas y a sus preparaciones. First of all, I want to thank Cuella's team for giving us this opportunity. He's a very dedicated person, trains very hard and gives it 100% all the time. Nosotros estamos uh, tenemos ya con, con Abner 
todo el año trabajando. Hemos tenido un par de semanas de descanso, pero no hemos parado de entrenar. Eso nos ha ayudado a acoplarnos más, a conocernos más. No tenemos un mes trabajando, no vamos a tener solamente cuatro semanas para trabajar juntos. Tenemos todo el año trabajando, así que eso es algo que nos beneficia, me beneficia a mí, le beneficia a, a Abner y pienso que vamos a, a tomar ventaja de esto. I um, I've been working with Abner for almost a year already. This whole year we've been working together on and off, different dates, different fights that have been postponed and canceled. But uh, but uh, you know now we have uh, we have a better tool together, we get to know each, each other better. You know it's not like I'm I'm gonna work with him for four weeks only. You know I'm working with Abner for the whole year. We've been working together. We've been we've been coming up with the game plan. Yes, the fight's been postponed, it's been changed, but that only gave us more time to learn about each other, and I think that's going to benefit us. I just want to invite everybody, come to the fight, or watch in a short time. It's going to be one of the best fights of the year, I guarantee you guys. Thank you guys. Thank you, uh, Robert. Uh, I'd like to ask now uh, Sebastian from Percy to say a few words about uh, weather before I'm going to introduce uh, Abner and Greg Weller. Sebastian and me have a long history as well, work together in many fights, in many fighters, and it's a pleasure for me as well to be working with Sebastian on Twitter again. Gracias a todos por venir, eh, primeramente. Eh, fue un largo proceso, otra vez estamos aquí. Han, han cambiado muchas cosas, pero lo que no ha cambiado es que es una de las mejores peleas del año, sin duda. Thank you very much, uh, everyone, for being here. Well, here we go again. Uh, it was a long process uh, for which, for which uh, we need to thank people that really kept their promises, which is invaluable in, in this in industry. First off, Al Heyman, who always promised that this fight was going to happen, where rumors were spread that it was not going to fight, that to happen. And here we are. Showtime was always supporting this fight as well. And, and now we have Richard Schaefer as well here, who, you know, that, like you say, we have a long history together. And uh, I welcome him back to the industry. I think the boxing really needs him. Uh, I also want to thank uh, Tim Amir Mares, Robert Garcia, Amir Mares, because uh, I know they have uh, a rough time. So we did, of course. But, you know, people sometimes uh, start saying nonsense things, and we knew that Mares was, was fit. Uh, it is not his fault. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, different criteria. Whatever it is, I'm not blaming anybody, but uh, I know it was in Mars. He was ready. Robert was uh, having him ready. And it's going to be a war. It's going to be a war. There's no doubt about it. We love Robert. We have our back and forth. And uh, uh, these are boxing war times. So uh, in the end, we are we are friends. And, and, and I know, and he knows that we will love Robert because he's a, a great trainer now and a great person. So, um, but now we are with one of other, another one of the best trainers. Unfortunately, he couldn't be here for agenda problems. I'm talking of uh, none other than Freddie Roach, which I think it makes it more, more interesting, this, this fight, really. Uh, representing Freddie are Paul and Marvin Zamario, some of his uh, assistants, and uh, Lastly, I just uh, want to thank Jesus Guaya, because Jesus doesn't live here, as you know, he lives in Argentina, and there wasn't a single day that he asked to return to Argentina. He wasn't a single day that he was tired or depressed or anything. It's going to be, by the time the, the fight happens, he will be away from, him, from his country, his family and his friends for almost nine months. Uh, so I praise Jesus Cuellar for his professionalism and uh, you know, he's in the mood to fight, let me tell you. So thank you very much and uh, make sure that we 
We all watch this fight because it's going to be war. Thank you. A very special fighter, a very special person as well. I've known him since 2004, and I think that makes this, this event for me that more special. To come back, uh, to do it from Los Angeles, to do it from USC, to have two 50-50 fights, total total battles, I think that's all great. But then, it's sort of like the cherry on top is that I have the opportunity to work with somebody who I really like as a person, who I respect as a family man, and everything he stands for. I said I met him in 2004 when he uh, went to the Olympics uh, and represented Mexico. He was born in Guadalajara, Mexico. Um, and he was uh, going to the Olympics representing Team Mexico. I was always impressed with his style, with his personality, the way he carries himself. And I met him and he came back after the Olympics and he gave me a milk bottle. Gave me a milk bottle. They made the milk bottle back then in Mexico. Um, Mexican milk bottle with his image on it. And uh, he signed back in 2004, there's a stamp on it. He signed that for me. And that was not only the beginning of the professional relationship, but it was the beginning of the friendship. And that little milk bottle has a very special place in my office and always will. Abner Morris is a three-time world champion in three different weight classes, without any question, one of the best fighters ever to come out of Mexico or come out of anywhere. Uh, he is a legend already. He entertains. He knows how to entertain. Uh, he is just the true warrior, and you are going to have an opportunity to see him December 10th, going for a fourth world championship against somebody with Guellar, who is a strong champion, uh, has defended his title five times, but that's who Abner Mars is. He's going to test himself against the best. So make sure you're going to be there. It's a pleasure and honor for me now to introduce to you Abner Mars. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, first of all, I want to thank God for the help, for keeping me alive, for giving me another day. And um, I want to thank Richard for those beautiful words. Um, it's not just business relationship that we have, Richard and I. It's a uh, personal level. I consider him a really good friend, his family. And uh, you know, I want to thank him. I want to thank him. I'm really happy, like you mentioned. I started boxing. 2005, and believe it or not, he was the guy I was working under. He was the man. And here I am back again. A year later, I'm fighting here. I'm back with Richard Schaefer. And I'm really happy and thrilled about that. Not only that, I'm coming back with the network that I can say made me famous, which is Showtime. When I fought the uh, Bantamweight tournament, I fought there, made me the star that, that I am, that I consider myself. Showtime, thank you so much. I won't disappoint. Like I, I, I do my best. I will give you the best. But I'm honest. This is a uh, new chapter for me. You saw a really good, entertaining pattern when we first started. But I got 11 years already as a professional. You are going to see a different attitude. Smarter. Really, really uh, sneaky. I'm learning a lot with uh, Robert Garcia. Like you mentioned, it's been a year since I've been training for AIDS. It won't be fight since March. No fight has happened yet. But guess what? It gave us a year to train, to learn from each other. Robert is a knowledgeable coach. He is a coach. He's not just the guy that wears the mitts and makes you look pretty on camera. No, man, this is the, the guy. This is the guy that gives you pointer. This is the guy that corrects things. I'm really happy with my coach. I want to thank Cal Heyman. Thank you all for everything, for being there this whole year. It's been a tough year. I want to thank the player team for sticking there, for waiting for me. Really appreciate that as a person, um, as a business. Thank you. Again, it wasn't my fault. I was ready for June 25th. I was ready for that. I was in New York ready. I, you know, I was like three pounds already ready for make, to make him wait. And it just sucks that uh, you know, it didn't happen. But it's, uh, it's finally here. Um, I'm just thrilled. I'm thrilled to be fighting at the USC Gallon Center. I went there. I was I was actually working for a network 
uh, uh, commenting the Oriola part, and I can tell you, man, it was it was great. The atmosphere, the environment there, it's it's great. So just I can just imagine being up in that ring and being the main event and showing people what I can do. I'm telling you guys, I'm a new man, I'm a grown man. <laughs> you know, I'm 30 years old. I got two beautiful daughters, 10 year old, the oldest. I am a I, you say I'm a wise man now. I'm a guy that likes to learn every day, and I just want to thank. Every single one of you guys that, 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 that are here today, thank you for still believing in me. The fans that do and don't, tune in December 10th. You will see a different ever. Thank you all so much. You cannot miss this fight. Jesus Cuellar, Abner Maris, is going to end the year with the fight of the year. Thank you so much, and God bless you all. Jesus Cuellar, myself, you've known each other for quite a while as well. Uh, as I mentioned, 2014, when he was fighting on the Maidana Mayweather card and knocked out Juan Malopez. That was the last fight I promoted. Um, and he will be back now and promote this fight, uh, which I think it's safe to say is uh, the biggest fight uh, for Quellar. It's a big fight, it's a statement fight. Uh, but he has always asked all tests to fly in color. He's a true warrior, as they are in Argentina. He's exciting. Big puncher has a record of 21 and one, 28 and one. Sorry, with 21 of those wins coming by knockout. So yes, he's a big puncher. He became world champion in 2013. Has the fight has defended his world title since then five times, and he has any and all intentions to keep that belt. This um, is his opportunity on a big platform. Uh, he knows how to perform, and uh, he wants to keep. That title. It's a pleasure for me now to introduce to you Jesus Quella. Mandales, bueno, yo yo el día de la otra vez de ahora de ahora me hago animales. Yo me estoy muy contento y creo que vamos vamos listo para el baile y siempre está lo mejor. Uh, hello everybody, thank you for being here. Uh, well, the day finally came uh, when uh, Morris and I face each other again. I'm very happy to be around and uh, I, I, can't, I can't wait for December 10th. I want to thank Ángel, Alicia Schaeffer, a Jordan, and because finally it will be the end of December 10th. Uh, I just want to thank uh, Al Heyman, Richard Schaefer, and Showtime uh, for making this uh, fight possible well, when some doubts were, you know, arising or around. And uh, but finally, it will it will happen? It will happen. Sé que va a ser una gran pelea y voy a estar a la altura de uh, Marius is such a great rival, uh, so he will, he will, and I'm sure that Marius will give it all, but I will too, and uh, I'm ready to take my belt with me back to Argentina as I always did. Estoy muy bien preparado para ver, para ver lo mejor de mí. Sé sí, con, con Freddy que tiene un gran equipo y vamos a estar a, a, a la altura de, de todo para llegar al club. Uh, I, had a, I met a great team uh, led by Freddy Roach and uh, well, Marvin Samuel is here, Paul and other guys. We are training very, very hard. We kept training hard since last June and uh, that makes it possible for this fight to be a war for uh, to be a win for me. I will give my my best. I prepare for that. I will give my best on December the 10th, and uh, be be sure that you watch this fight because it's going to be a great fight. Uh, and this is a fight that I've been dreaming of having, and Maris now it for three years actually. Gracias también a todos ustedes por estar aquí. 
hacia el tema dulce y a todo lo, lo que se Thank you, everybody, once again, and see you on December 10th. Thank you.